Hey everybody, welcome to the MDG Media coverage of the last round of the Heatland Open FPO round here. I'm here with uh, Greg Snell. Hey man. Hey Max, how's it going? Happy to be here at the MDG Media Base Camp for this week. We're back with the PDGA Euro Tour stop number four. And we've got an awesome card lined up for our final round of FPO coverage. Oh yeah, let's go. That's going to be fun. Last round. Dramatic finish. We'll see that through the video. So uh, how do you feel about this, man? It's a great course. Another really heavily wooded course with a bit of history. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how the uh, ladies attack it here. We've got our first player, Sophie Bjornike from Sweden. Um, absolute legend of a player. She's 924 rated at the moment and uh, happy to see her on our lead card final day. We've got Amanda Lennartsen, and she is also out of Sweden, 859 rated, another really great young talent, and it'll be exciting to watch her attack our course on this final day. And here we've got Anakin Steen out of Norway, and she was the winner at the last PDGA Euro Tour event in Kokodal. Um, so it'll be great to see her perform on lead card once again and, and chase down another win. And then here we've got Hannah Janssen, and Hannah is also from Sweden, and she's 895 rated, so close to 900. Really uh, exciting player, and it was good to see her on coverage uh, the last couple of rounds, so we'll see how she does uh, in our final round here. And there's our, our scores for the tournament. What do you think? Uh, it's, uh, it's tight between the two first players. Uh, let's see how Annie can chase, uh, chase the, two first, uh, the two first ones. It's going to be interesting and thank you to Castaplast for uh, sponsoring the event for sure. Great, great, great event here. So hole number one, we have a par 385 meters, so kind of an uphill shot. Island hole, so uh, please let's get there. If you miss it, you just have a drop zone. It's kind of a layup 20 meters from the basket. So a straight shot to the, to the ball here. Let's see how it's going. have music introduction here sophie on the t-pad yeah i love seeing that all tournament we've had uh songs to start off the players got a nice uh flex line it looks like oh yeah really beautiful flight boom great right shot the from circle sophie. looks like about circle's edge yeah really oh, yeah. nice i'm in uh, here let's do this three over par chasing Okay, another backhand shot. Oh, right when the beat drops too, let's go. A little sawed off, but it looks like it may have made it. Yeah, yeah, it should be short, but uh, definitely in the island, no worries. Where is it? Great song. Flow, come on, you can. Here's our lefty. Going yeah. straight at it. Beautiful nice line. Nice slow fade. Yeah, really, really good shot. Slow turn, sorry. And yeah, she'll be just outside of the circle in circle two. All three, I believe, on the island so far. So that's good to see. Yeah, that's nice. Nice start for the three first players. Let's see how Hannah is handling this. Jump! <laughs> We're going to have to it's start. so cool, man. <laughs> Singing our commentary. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good too. Yes. Yes, a bit short again, it. but should be okay. Nah, they're all. Man. It's if... a good start, eh? When you get all four players off the tee on the island, so that's good. Yeah, four birdie possibilities here. Pretty interesting start for everybody. And Amanda is off here on the green. Uh, just great bit, bid low. yeah great yeah, she's line. a little obstructed as you could see but uh she gave it a really good bid and just just didn't have the glide to get over the rim and you will love now, the fact Hannah that looks Amanda, like a similar look yeah uh, kind of a bit shorter yeah and i was going to say but you will like the <sighs> fact that uh, amanda is uh, throwing from both hands you will uh, witness it through the video. It's pretty interesting. 
And great start. Oh, yeah. Sophie. Great putt there from Sophie. Boom. Nice That's another one of those confidence building pots too, eh? Exactly yeah. from the uh, from the circle's edge, no worries. And even though Anakin's our last to putt, she still looks like she's got a bit of a tester here too. Oh yeah, probably looking at about eight meters. Yeah, just inside the circle, I would say. Ooh. It's high. Just a little too high. We got a few tap-ins here. Oh, bogey! What? Huh? Not sure about that. Yeah, just just a uh, small mistakes mm, in the graphics. No, it's a, no par up on the up on the actual scorecard. So, Max, what are you doing, man? I know you're doing those those Adobe After Effects graphics. Come on now. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a <laughs> lot of work for you guys. The MDG Media crew, if you guys don't know, has a team of like over ten people, including myself. And we do a ton of work at every tournament to cover MPO and FPO, plus all the graphics and drone work and all, all the editing. But uh, it all comes down to this awesome footage and being able to do this is great. So tell us about hole number two. Yeah, let's head here. So there is two fairways. The first one is just under now the, the drone. So all the ladies are going for it. You have a lot of OBs to, uh, to avoid. So they will go for the first one and then go on the second. So it's a part five. So kind of uh, some big garden trees before the basket, but there is not too many of them and some OBs behind the basket. So yeah, a bit worries uh, during the approach, but uh, yeah, open open green. So pretty interesting hole, par five. And uh, let's see, let's see how it's going here. Yeah, and the last day was pretty cool, sunny day. So it's not, if I remember well, not that windy uh, compared to the the two the two third first days of the event. So flex line. I've seen Sophie hit this a couple times, so uh, it's a bit high. Let's see if it'll spike down. Oh yeah. Yeah, Great job's shot. done. Job's done. Really nice shot. So even for Sophie, it's been pretty nice. Back and. Kind of a yeah early. I release. lost that one from Amanda. Oh, it looks like she's trailing out, and I believe that has gone out of bounds. Long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not long, but on the left, on the left, uh, there it's kind of an L fairway. Yeah, you've got this kids' playground that is definitely kind of coming into play. Um, now you got Anakin just high pass, slow down. Yes, look at that. Beautiful shot. Beautiful really, shot. really nice shot. That's going to set her up well for the approach. Or for the second shot, sorry. And here we go with Hannah. Yeah, the weather's just perfect. Oh. It that's got to get down. Ah, yeah, unlucky. that's definitely OB for Hannah here. Yeah, not really happy about it. Can understand. And as you can see, if you miss the fairway here, you go to the drop zone. I didn't mention it before. And going for the second part of the fairway here, second one. That's a nice turnover line. Go, go, go. Yes. Yeah, yeah tranquilly. Second part, so she will have to shut the first, the, the fourth one after this. Playing for to save the, the par. Wow, what a crush from Amanda. That's looking real good. Boom, and, uh, great shot. And I'm a bit confused, so if she was really OB or not. Yeah, she was, I believe, but she had crossed the uh, the inbounds part, right? Whereas yeah. uh, Amanda, I don't think she crossed at all. Oh, but as it's an island, yeah, you think she would yeah. play from the drop zone. Good Maybe call. not. We will understand it uh, when the scores get down there, but... Um, Pretty sure she was OB, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, we didn't see the OB graphic, so knowing how good your graphic work is, uh. <laughs> I'm sure she was in balance. <laughs> All right. Got a, a nice shot from Anakin coming around Beautiful. the corner there. Stands yeah. to the shot. It should be a birdie possibility, definitely. 
And Hana, fourth shot. Looking to save his bar, her bar. Uh, yeah, nice approach. Shot. Bit yeah. short. She will have to work, but, uh, but yeah, definitely. There. She's still in the circle. Yeah, definitely. All right. And we've got Sophie here lining up the flex sidearm. It's nice and high. Looking good. Yeah. Good it's approach. Not bad. Yeah, nice. not bad from where she was. And Amanda, so third or fourth shot, depending on the, if she was OB or not. Still not sure about that. She's got a great look here, though. Nice little flick sidearm. Yeah, so smooth. Great shot. Yeah, really. Nestles up well into the wood chips, so she should have a, uh, a pretty easy putt. And let's see what Anakin's got here, too. Yeah, this is her third. Same thing, just a nice, easy sidearm approach. Just outside the bullseye. Yeah, comfortable hole for Anakin here. Really nice. And Sophie for the birdie here. Yes, and great putt. Here it is, great. Gotta love that, eh? Just great. over the rim. Yeah, two for two, really. That's fantastic. Stretching her lead as well, right off the bat. So it's an important putt for Hannah. Oh, what? Oh. Not much you can say there. That putt looked really, really nice. Dead center. Looked like it almost bounced off the pole. Okay. So double bogey for Hannah. Ha. Unfortunate one. Yeah, that's disc golf sometimes. Hey, those spit outs are, uh, are nasty. But mental game, you know, move on and uh, and make that next putt as she did. Uh, okay, I'm in for the par. par. So there was no OB uh, on the on the first one. Oh, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, and actually, again, mistake from me, but there was an OB because she shot. Yeah, her fourth shot here. And Anakin for the birdie, yeah. beauty. That's how you break down the hole for sure. Did a really good job of making that, uh, making it pretty easier on herself. And yeah, all in all, nice hole. Good That's hole too. Tell us about hole number three. Two hole number three, so par three, 108 meters. We have a mandatory just before the basket. So a lot of players are just uh, throwing on the left of it and don't take any risks to go to the basket just uh, laying up you will see why because there is an elevated basket here death but definitely so uh yeah generally a lot of players are just playing safe here and taking the bar let's see if one of the player here is going for it yeah there's so a late mando here late mando as well so i mean you could theoretically see like a big flex forehand but uh, yeah, it makes even... sense to just play it Oh. The, the the flex for for uh yeah, yeah the forehand is uh, definitely the option to go to the basket for the righties so the best option here is for Anakin if she wants to attack it but uh, not sure if she wants to do that. I think Sophie's drive landed uh, pretty well up the fairway there. Anakin's got this nicely forced over. Oh, bit of ground play, but she ended up in the middle of the fairway, uh, just shy of that mendo. Yeah, it will be hard to get to the basket. Maybe a. Uh, High hyzer line, we'll see. Amanda using her right hand. Okay, late release, taking the tree on the right here. It's gonna be a scramble for sure here. And Hannah. That oh, looks great out of the hand. Yes. Oy. Oh my God. Late tree, unlucky. Yeah, not the best tree work, unfortunately. Just uh, going just behind the Mando. 
So Amanda's in scramble mode here. Let's see what she can do with her second shot. Get past um, it. Just past it and laying up for uh, the bogey just after that. I'm pretty sure. That's yeah, it makes plan. sense. That was a pretty good shot for where she was at. Yeah, definitely. She, ooh, I like it. High forehand. Yeah, but again, she, she's maybe just inside the circle and you mm. will see the death, but man, it's so, so... Yeah, we're not running that basket. <laughs> yeah, so dangerous here. If you miss it, you definitely go. Yeah, you, you will have a, a comebacker, definitely. Well, let's see. She might go for it. So Anakin's doing the same thing, just trying to get around that corner. And we've got Sophie lining up the uh, forehand roller. Drew Gibson disc here. Yeah. It's going to make it. Hmm. I... Yeah, not the best one. Should be a layup. And here comes number three. Just trying to get this under the basket. Yeah, she's definitely in position not to take any risks here. She has the lead four strokes. That yeah, was and, a bit of a floater, but uh, she should should simply close enough. Let's see. Yeah, should be okay. Not the best layup, but uh, but should be okay. Stop there. Uh, yeah, so will be a bogey Amanda. here. And Anakin to save the par. Will she run it? It looks like she's got it in her sights. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's go. What a par save here. Great that putt from is, Anakin. Yeah, really. Not a uh, not an easy putt to line up and, and drill down. So fantastic putt from Anakin Steen. Yeah, and even better. Uh, Hannah eyeing it down. Let's see if Hannah can do the same here. Ooh. Voila. And there you can uh, witness the danger. <laughs> You take really it's a risk reward hole here on the green. It looks like even a longer comebacker. Yeah, and now uphill, so voila. That's the problem on this hole. So it will be double bogey if I don't mistake myself. Sophie to save a bogey here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. Good and Hannah to save the double. There we okay. go. There we go. And let's head to the next one. When Amanda will be then here. Bogey for her. Max, your graphic work is just on par. <laughs> this first front nine of our final round. Yeah, it will be changed. It will be changed. No, no worries. Spectators uh, won't even notice it. So hole four for 377 meters. So small hole, short hole. You will go for the, the forehand hyzer shot for the righties here. Again, another advantage, a bit advantage, advantage sorry, for uh, Anakin as she is lefty. You will see it. And you can also go for the back end turnover. But definitely the, the main option is the forehand for the righties. And here's Anakin up first. Oh. Oh, hitting a tree about midway through her flight. So we'll see where she ended up. And it looked like the left-hand side. And she may have a look to the basket from there. Up next is Sophie. And she's yes. lining up the forehand. Nice hyzer line. Mm hmm not sure where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's just on the left-hand side there, probably circle two. But as you can see, there's a ton of guardian trees around this uh, this basket. So hopefully she'll have a, a window for the approach. Yeah, and another, not a, not a death putt compared to the, the last one, but again, downhill putt for the, the ladies when you're short like Sophie is. And yes. Amanda just threw with her left hand. And yeah, unfortunately... Uh, had a bit of a late release. Yeah, it's amazing that you uh, that you uh, picked that one out. Uh, her throwing with left and right both is pretty cool. Yeah, first time I see that in my life. Really. It's great. Nice forehand from Hannah. Oh, going Engaged. close from the camera, Matt. Same position as yeah, Sophie. Yeah, you can see her just right beside Sophie's disc. Mm -hmm, exactly. 
and Amanda going back to the right hand. So scrambling a bit. Good shot, it seems. Yeah, a bit short. She will have to work for the, the bogey here, uh, for the par. Uh, you can just see you can just see how many trees are in the way. Like you've got to really kind of shape your shot. We've got a, a nice approach here from Anakin, hits a late tree and drops her down. She'll have a tap in for par. And now Amanda up next. Little floaty bid. Okay. Fine. This will be an easy bogey for Amanda here. That's amazing how just a couple of tree hits can get you, uh, you know, off your line enough where a bogey comes into play so quickly. Yeah, now, Hannah's lining you. this up, but she's in circle two. So let's see if she's got a spot. Ah, oh, she had a line, but just the the double tap on the trees. Oh, it's really difficult, as you can see. Yeah, Sophie was in a similar position, but she was able to, to get it through and just pass the basket on the backside. So here's Hannah for par. Oof. Okay, going Trying for to hit it. Guillaume. Yeah. <laughs> so there will be another comebacker for Hannah. Again, just on the edge of circle one, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Tough, tough, yeah, tough, tough, tough. Tough two holes for Hannah. Oh, oh Sophie. Okay, Unfortunate. Unusual. That was just, it was too far on the right side. Yeah. Unlucky, really. It's uh, just kind of spit out from the chains. She'll be tapping in the bogey. Yo. There's bit high bogey for chain. Amanda. Good work from Amanda. Bogey for Sophie. This will be another easy situation for Anakin. Getting close from Amanda, just one stroke now. Yeah, and Anakin's our only uh, clean scorecard so far. Yeah, really nice. Really clean scorecard, as you are saying. Okay. So moving on to hole number five. So thank you to Castaplast for sponsoring the event, hole five, par 387 meters. So you have that wooded fairway here. You have uh, an obvious tunnel to uh, to take. So yeah, clearly you are going for the turnover backhand for the righties or the forehand if you have the distance. Anakin has uh, the natural line to take here as a lefty. Let's see how they handle this. Fast on the T to show the world how it's where how it works. Okay, so right from uh, from the tree here, beautiful shot. Yeah, she's hit a late tree, but she's kicked down. Looks like uh, inside of the circle one, so she should have a putt. And as you can see, another uh, just absolutely guarded hole, and you really gotta commit to your line to make it through. Ah. Okay. Early tree for Sophie, unfortunate. She'll be scrambling. And there is that line on the right side of the fairway also to go a bit uh, more hyzer for the for the righties, but it's a bit more tight. Oh, Amanda, Amanda hitting early first one. available. Wow. Hard one scrambling mode for Amanda on the last uh, few holes. Now let's see if Hannah can bounce back after her two double bogeys. That's a bit too much. Okay. Yeah, big turnover line, but it's flexing back and it looks like she's landed uh, long in the basket in circle two. Yeah, a good shot from Hannah. A bit fortunate, I would say. 
so I'm in the scrambling mode here, taking the line. Okay, she maybe has the possibility to save the bar. And Sophie Silmer, you can see the basket there. She's just floating one as close as she can, and she's in the bullseye. Great shot wow. from Sophie. Great approach from the Swedish legend. Now here we see Amanda lining up that long putt to save par. Now, good look, but just a bit too far. Yeah, and again, a downhill putt for Amanda. It's pretty hard to uh, handle this. Now here's Hannah for birdie. Oh, just too low. Now the camera never really does the uh, the slopes justice either. As a cameraman myself, working with MDG Media, when we're on some of these holes, you you sort of see it a, a bit differently, and the whole roll away situations come into play, and. Uh, with those uphill putts, you know, you just got to give it that extra bit of power. And Hannah just missed that one too low. But not Anakin. She's coming in for the birdie and bringing her round score to minus two. Still got that clean scorecard. Nice birdie from Anakin. And we have a switch for second place here. Anakin taking it after. Should be a bogey for Amanda. Yeah, and a good par save from Sophie there, too. She was definitely hit an early tree and was able to uh, correct with a great approach. And a little unlucky for Amanda, but uh, yeah, score separation. And on to the next one. Oh, yeah, hole six. So we have that par three. So really tight at the start and then uh, opening up uh, after, uh, yeah, 20, 30 meters. You need to avoid that uh, OB on the right side and, yeah. Be careful with uh, the turnover line, not putting in too much on the on the shot. And uh, some garden trees around the basket. Again, if you're short, be careful on the on the putt. It's a kind of a downhill again. And hard line for uh, Anakin here. So easy to fade uh, to fade into DOB on the right for her. But good shot here, middle of the fairway should be okay to save the par there. Next up is Sophie. Looks like she's got a distance driver in her hand. Oh, 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 oh. flexing it okay. over. Ah. <clears throat> Next up is Hannah. Also got a, a fast disc in the hand, lining up the righty back end. Looking for that turnover line, but not enough here. So she will end up on those trees on the left. No, it was a little high, nose up. Yeah. Yeah, she's just gonna fade out early with that with that release. And then this looks to be a mid-range from Amanda. Let's see if she's just gonna try and get it right in the middle of the fairway. Ah. Ooh. Gonna flirt with that OB. Come on back. Yes. That's okay. She's inbounds. Yeah, and good spot to go to the basket on the next one. Good one. Yeah, this is a bit of a crush. You know, at 113 meters, it's uh, it's not an easy par three with that OB on the right. So here's our, our second from Sophie. Nice big hyzer line. Yeah, it should be inside the circle. Not a bad location. And here's the second from Amanda. As you can see, it, her drive landed in, in not a bad location at all. And she's uh, come up a bit short, but she'll be putting. Uh, look at Hannah just having to pitch out from the woods. Ooh, hope that didn't go okay. too far. Should be okay. Ooh, but look at here's Anakin, a little pitch side of approach. Go nice and wide, fade back in and. That's another bullseye hit to tap in the par. Oh, yeah. Good job from Anakin. Yeah, yeah it looks really... like Hannah did stay in bounds here. So let's see what she's got. Ooh. Oh, nice run. Hey, nice layup. 
She was going for it. it seems. Oh, she was going for it. Yeah, for sure. Give her the benefit of the doubt. It was uh, it was pretty close, and she just landed in those wood trips. Right, at, she'll have a tap in, so that's that's nice. Here we go for the par save. Oh, oh good line. Wow, so close. Just missed left side, but definitely the right height. And here comes Amanda to also save the par. Another uphill putt. Ah, Just missed. Need to push it a bit more. Yeah, it can be tough to gauge the power, you know, when you're looking uphill like that. Okay, good one from Sophie, saving the bogey. And Amanda still needs to work to save it. Also, Both the red case. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's unlucky. I mean, just a little errant on the drives, and then from there, it's scramble mode. And in these trees with this course, you know, anything can happen. So it's really important to get off the tee clean. Anakin to sit to keep her court clean. Great. Clean start from Anakin on those uh, first six holes. Really nice. And there's the tap in bogey for Hannah. And we're off. Hole number seven. Tell us about it. Yeah, par four. A really tight line at the start. It's pretty hard. You have a double bogey to avoid on the left. The first one is just now. I have the second one just 30 meters after the first. So you really need to keep your disc for the righties. Uh, the turnover shot is the main option. Really need to keep it uh, to the right. And you can, can uh, follow the line as a lefty and just uh, fade into the fairway. And then you have uh, also a lot of uh, trees in the middle of the fairway to get to the basket. But uh, should be... If you, if, you, if you succeed the first drive, you have a birdie option. If you kick early, you're in trouble. But let's see. We've got Anakin up first. Our only lefty on the card, throwing it right down the middle. That's what great. Shot. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, making that gap look real wide when it's absolutely not. And Sophie doing the same. Oh, Ooh. just hitting one of the last guardian trees. But uh, I think she's knocked down just before that Mando. So she should still have a good opportunity for her next shot. Here we've got Hannah. Oh, another oh, just that's... lace down the middle. Wow. Uh oh. Get past that, Mando. Yes. Okay, good shot from Anna. Oh, from the claps. Yeah. I think it sounded like it again, making that gap just look so wide. If you gave me 10 discs, I'd probably make maybe two of them go through there. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, unlucky. Unlucky from Amanda, but still, those are uh, some pretty good drives. And you've got Amanda's second here just to get around the corner. She's done a good job of that. Yeah, a bit, maybe a bit too much on the left for the, the, the next one. Look at the roller in these woods. My yeah, goodness. It's hard, man. There is wow. so much, so many rocks in the ground, on the ground and stuff like that. Yeah, and stumps. I'm surprised that she went for it, but I think it worked. I think she got into uh, you know, position to to attack for her third. And here's Anakin just lacing her second and hitting oh. a late tree. But still, what a great position. Yeah, you have those gardens just around the circle two edge. It's, uh, it's pretty hard. If you go through them, you, you definitely have a birdie option. Now here's Sophie sailing a little bit long, but it looks like she's just on the circle's edge. Uh, she'll be putting for par. And let's see, Hannah's lining up the sidearm. Oh, Flex. late trees. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, still, it would have had a chance if it got through clean, but... It's just a lot of trees. And when you go that high too, you know, you can see this, all these holes have kind of a low ceiling. Uh, great shot there from wow. Amanda. That great was fantastic. Him. Yeah, she'll be uh, saving the par there. So that's good to see. Come on, Hannah. Oh, that looks like a run. Oh, oh wow. wow. That almost. was so close. <laughs> and almost hit yeah. Guillaume. Nice yeah, these girls Hannah. are hunting Guillaume here. Come on. <laughs> Wow, birdie okay. putt just sails a little high for Anakin, but she should have a uh, comebacker for par there. Here's a big putt for Sophie. Oof, 
Okay, and it seems that Anakin will have the option to get back at two strokes from Sophie if she makes the par. Good save. Yeah, our, our leader uh, started off real hot, but she's just been bleeding a few strokes in the last four holes. There's another par for Anakin, and here comes Sophie to tap in the bogey. What a front nine for, for Anakin. Looks really clean. So plus three now for and Sophie. On this course, I mean, you can see how much uh, how much color we've got down there in the in the score. It's, it's uh, there really is a lot of uh, of score separation and swinging between these holes. Yeah, yeah, you can be punished really fast on that course. So hole eight, 88 meters. So uphill hyzer shot for the the righties. The the fairway is really tight. You, you need to go left really fast and as high as possible. And then for Anakin, it will be a bit more work to get there with a... I don't know if she will go with the forehand hyzer. That's the option. You can also go for the backhand turnover, but not not this time for her. So That's a nice line, but it's not going to get her into the circle. I think as Max said there in our whole preview, it's really important to get it nice and high. And really tight, man. Really let really the disc do the to... work. Oh, yeah. Mm. You really need to go left really, really fast and really high also. Yeah. So like a more overstable, you know, fast disc that you can get up in the air and it's going to do the work coming back. That looks like about a bit better of a line. Yeah, that's, nice. uh, yeah, that's really, a good really shot. Nice. Great shot from yeah. Amanda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and again, it's quite uphill. You can see where Sophie is looking. You know, she's got her eyes way up in that canopy. Oh, nice release, but I think she hit an early tree, just yeah. a little too tight on that exactly. hyzer line. Yeah, to me, the best option here is really the hyzer shot. Even, be even better with an understable disc to to glide. You know, you release it hyzer, and uh, then it take it takes the line just uh, just glide a bit more than an overstable disc okay see we think of different i would definitely be getting more overstable to hit like a spike high line yeah to, to really push it deep oh uh, third from sophie ah nice little Bit flick long. but that's the beauty of disc golf too max is when we can sort of you know pick our discs and pick our lines differently and see who gets closer yeah <laughs> yeah definitely definitely great really shot from anakin We'll need to go on that course together just for me to kick your ass. <laughs> I got to be filming, man. I'm doing work. All right. So Amanda, I don't think she's rolled too badly off those rocks. There is definitely a potential for a roll away. Oh, no. Man. Yeah. This is going to be another bogey for Amanda. Unfortunately. Yeah. So she did her first uh, attempt there did roll uh, pretty far and, and unfortunately, she was unable to make the, the next putt. And here we've got Hannah lining up the par putt. Come on, Hannah. Good job. Yeah, really nice. You can see her concentration just staring down the basket and was able to connect. So, so good to see. And it's getting really interesting for the win here really tight between the three first players there is a yeah little gap created between uh, sophie anakin and, uh, and amanda just chasing from, uh, from yeah we had a very uh, go ahead on, on number nine they'll jump back in <laughs> a whole nine so 80 meters you have that uh triple mando at the start so you need to keep your disc low to just uh, get the to that door shouldn't be a problem. So a uh, little advantage for uh, Anakin as a lefty because she can follow the line. So a uh, turnover back in for the righties or a forehand, not a hyzer, but uh, straight then taking the line and the fade to go to the basket. Let's see how it's going. Oh, early release. She made it through the triple. Still, you, you wonder on these holes, you know, so if the if the player in a tournament situation sees that triple mando and just thinking, okay, get through there, get through there, you know, and it's better not happens. to think about it, definitely. And that's the line. Oh, that was a great shot. 
That was a great shot. Just a bit short, bit too tight. And we've got Amanda lining up a mid range. Oh. Ooh. But she's made it through the triple Mando, but still hit a tree just on the other side. And finally, we've got Sophie lining up a slow disc as well on a turnover line. Going to hold that flight really beautiful coming down this hill. Yeah, that's and the best fading. shot of the group. Yeah, nice. she faded just outside of the circle, so she'll have a look for the birdie. Okay, and here's a man in scramble mode, just playing the turnover. Ah, man, those trees are just everywhere. And that's a hard front line from Amanda. Mm -hmm. And Anakin's got a nice look to the basket with her little flick. Oh, it's gone a little long, but she got lucky there and hit something uh, before jumping out of the circle. So she'll have a look to save par. Here's Amanda's third. Bit of a roll. Is yeah, it coming back? Yes, it is. Bullseye. Yeah. yeah. Good tackle work here. Uh, let's see where Hannah ended up. She's got a downhill look. Little flex with the putter for the tap in par. Yeah, tranquille. Here in birdie possibility for Sophie. Make this happen. Make this happen. A bit short. Oof. Yeah, long putt, but she gave it a good run. That's a Man. tester for Anakin. And she's got oh. it. Dialed. Man. Boom. She's That's fire, an important man. putt. Really nice an job from putt. Anakin. And compared to the second round, it's uh, it's really nice. Good bounce back from Anakin. She was pretty yeah. uh, with the, the putting. Yeah, and you second. can see, like, uh, you know, we're all disc golfers watching this. You understand that there's, a, you know, kind of a, uh, a vibe to the card and to your round. And uh, you start getting into those modes where you're feeling it. And it's uh, it's pretty cool to take that into the back nine on final day. But we're going to have a very uh, dramatic finish here to our final round of the uh, lead card FPO. So that's it for the front nine, but definitely stay tuned for the back nine. Let's take a look at our final scores. What do we got, Max? Oh, man, really clean card from uh, Anakin. Super, super front nine. Two down and uh, the three other girls a bit struggling. Sophie was really nicely starting, but uh, a bit of a struggle for the, for the rest of the front. And let's see top. 10 actually top seven here so yeah we have sophie in the lead by one stroke anakin is a uh, is in a really good vibe to uh to work and to to work for the win i'm in that bit of struggle struggle here but uh yeah let's see let's see on the back nine and everything can happen here all right thank you everybody for watching and we'll catch you on the fpo final card back nine coverage with mdg media Oh yeah, and again, thank you to Gastaplast for sponsoring the event. See you on the back line, guys.